And Charles, were you at the game this evening, Nottingham Forest fan? I was, yeah, the season ticket holder. I just think, do you know what, I hear, I hear a lot of lads in here tonight, so doom and gloom, but this time last year, we was bottom of the championship at one point with Hewton. You need to remember where you come from, you know. The football fans have got very short memories, and it was four or five weeks ago when we wanted to build a statue of Steve Cooper outside the ground. And, you know, it's 22 players, what do you expect? They've got a gel, haven't they, from set time. Yeah, definitely. I, I I agree with you there. Um, you're not going to know your 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 your, your preferred t- starting eleven just yet. Um, you're not going to know the, the you're not going to know the characters in the changing rooms that will know how to lead the players to victory, especially when you go one nil up. So you're going to have to. It's going to take time. That is Charles. Just to know. Charles, what's it like with the rest of the fans, the people that you're sitting around? What's their attitude towards everything at the moment? To be honest with you, when it's going well, Forest, the city ground, is unbelievable. Unbelievable atmosphere, but they're quite quickly to uh, to turn when it when it goes the other way. And you can't have it best of both worlds, can you? But we've been dreaming of this moment in the Premier League for 23 years, and a lot of fans forget that. You know, that, you know, they're quite easy to to go the other way and, and start falling. Them. But I'm just I'm just embracing it. I'm quite happy to be here. And there's 38 games to go in the season. I mean. Nothing's handed out mid-September, is it? Bloody yeah. hell. Do you know what I mean? You know, a, you win two or three games and, and the move's different, isn't it? But we've got to win a game now where we're expected not to win because we've dropped, you know, two games, Fulham and Bournemouth, where you expect at least four points. So we've got to go somewhere now and win where we weren't expected to win. But you get two or three games together and everyone's on top of the world again. And I just think football fans are too fickle. I, I'm just happy to be here. It's been 23 years of her, we, you know, we are a Premier League club and... Uh, but do you worry, Charles? I think, I think... What are you saying there? No, I love your outlook. Absolutely love it. But we've got to be realistic. 160 million spent, 22 players in. If it doesn't work out, then we've seen other teams, haven't we? Not only get relegated from the Premier League, but then struggle, obviously, with the wage demands and the players and offloading people in the Championship. And then that takes toll on the way that they play. And they ended up bouncing into the, the third tier, mate. So there's that concern, isn't there? That's my point. We've, we've got 22 new players. You know, fit five, six games into the season. It is way too early to judge. He doesn't know his best start at 11. It is going to take time to... What, what do they expect? Do they expect them to just come together and, and play like, you know, Barcelona in 2011? It's going to take time. It's going to take 10 games from tour to get to know each other, Steve Cooper to know his best 11. Mm. And I just I just think we need to be with it because it's not like we've just added two or three. That, you know, it, it's going to take time, which is why that exact point of yeah. signing that many players and, and that much money... You've got to give him time. Yeah, like, I, I get what you're, I get what you're yeah. saying, Charles, but it's fi- five defeats. Five in, solid in, defeats. In seven, again, and against two teams that you came up with. So, so it's, a, it's a lot to speak about there. Mm.